we have a special guest to talk about health. Yeah, we are here with Heather Doney, known as Healthy Habits with Heather Online. Her passion is transforming lives with great health tips. Great health tips, and you should follow her on Instagram. <laughs> Want to talk a little bit, um, sometimes you focus mostly on women, but really mm -hmm. everybody can use this kind of health advice, right? Yeah, absolutely. Everybody has control of their own health, and that's what I love to teach people, that um, just because a doctor can tell you something, you're really the one that's in control of everything. <laughs> you are. So, so yeah, I love to, tr to help people create those habits. And you have some little tips to get started. Yeah, so I like to talk about the five pillars of health. This is what I teach my mostly women. So, um, you know, with my own health journey, it, it, sometimes it takes a big health issue to kind mm -hmm. of maybe make you wake want, you up. yeah, wake you yeah. up and want to do more. So that was for me, I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease in 2018. And I tried to be healthy before that, but this really kind of woke me up to okay. being like, okay, I've got to really create these own habits to, to be able to live the life I want to live, right. even with an autoimmune disease. And so um, the first pillar that I like to focus on is breathing. So <laughs> above anything else, we need to be able to breathe, you, yes. right? So finding that stillness, stillness is just as important, important as movement. So finding a few minutes every day for some stillness and breathing, not just breathing through the chest, but breathing all the way down into that belly. You have to focus on it a little bit. You do have bit. to focus on yeah. that. And some people like to do that in yoga or meditation, mm -hmm. but we can just do it even in our cars. You're stopped at a stoplight. Think about breathing, especially if there's that road rage that I tend to oh. have an issue with. <laughs> yeah. people, people can be surprised how the simple things yes, like that Yes, because we're holding really tight help. even when yes. we're driving, right? So just breathing it through the mouth all the way down to the belly. And how often do you have to do that? Um, honestly, even just a few minutes every day. Even if you okay. found five minutes every day to just find stillness, getting that body to restore back to its kind of balanced. Calmness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. calmness, calmness. Yeah. One of yeah. the hardest things for those of us on this shift, mm -hmm. <laughs> where we wake up super early. Yes. Sleep. Sleep, it's yes. It's so important. It is so important. I think it's been underrated for a long time, and I think mm -hmm. we're really realizing how important it is for our bodies. It's something I still, I struggle with still to this yeah. day, but trying to find a um, sleep routine. So maybe an hour or two before you want to fall asleep, start to maybe dim the lights, get off your phone for a little bit. Um, you can take a bath, you can listen to music. Um, just finding ways to try to get the body to write signals to the body, like it's time to go to sleep soon. And sometimes magnesium can help people too, mm -hmm. just trying to get you into that better sleep. And so. reading maybe. Yeah, yes. Some help. people read yeah. it. Just when I was younger, yeah. I used to abide by that saying, oh, I'll sleep when I'm dead. And now <laughs> that I'm older, I'm like, nope. Nope, nope, I need my sleep. You need it Absolutely. now. Yeah, especially yeah, as we get older, takes. I think we realize how important it is. So. And another pillar you say is hydration. hydration. I drink a ton of water, yes. so maybe that's helping me a little bit. Yes, for sure. And it's something I don't really have a problem with, but if you either are really good at it or you hate it. <laughs> so, so I think a lot of people don't realize how important water is for us, or they do and they just don't want to do it. So um, I like to just tell people, find a really good water bottle that you love and take it with you everywhere. But if you hate the taste of water, add electrolytes or mm -hmm. lemon and limes. There's those, you, know, you, can, you have those additives, things that you can add with are flavor, but those are full of sugar and things like that. Yeah. Find something that's actually gonna benefit your body. Like lemon or lime juice? Uh-huh, okay. yes, exactly, or electrolytes. And then um, just try, some people have a hard time trying to switch out that soda for water. I always tell people, if you if that's hard, just drink a cup of water for every cup of soda or energy <laughs> drink you're drinking. Just try to balance it out a little balance bit. It yeah, out. Just Heather, I have start. to admit, I tried doing this gallon water thing mm -hmm, and that's... I went right into it. I was going to the bathroom yes. like 10 to 15 times yep, a day, yep. but your body does get used to it yeah, after absolutely. a while. It does. It does yeah. get used to it. Uh, yes. <laughs> Too much information? <laughs> no, no, because we don't get to use the bathroom very yeah, often. Right. <laughs> and we are on the air at 4.30 and we're not done until 9. And it's right. like if you have your coffee and water yeah. in the morning, there's, there's you know, yeah. three minute breaks only exactly. do so much. So Moral maybe try that story, after. Give it time, <laughs> yes. basically. Let yes. your body adapt it, Yes, to it, so. 100%, yes. Okay, so we did hydration and sleep. Uh, movement. Let's movement. talk about movement. Yes, so movement, we all know the benefits of movement, right? And some people just really hate exercising. Mm -hmm. But I like to think of it as there's eat and there's neat. So eat is exercise um, activity thermogenesis. So that's what we think of as working out. So you actually go and you have an activity that you're going to do to move the body. Then there's neat where there's not exercise activity thermogenesis. That's what we do all day long going to the mailbox, making your bed, doing your chores, those, that is movement too. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to discredit that. So just try to, if you can't get exercise in somewhere or you just haven't found what you love, just do more of those things that just get your body up. Like take the stairs, park a little bit further away, mm -hmm. you know, and then oh, eventually say even find. standing at desk, in, at your desk, Absolutely. or getting up and walking around when yes, you're at work. Yes, exactly. Just think about those little things that are neat and not eat if it's really hard to get and 
uh, exercise routine. Going. Cleaning the house, housework 100%. is, is yes. a good form yeah, of Yeah, gardening too. as well, you know, yeah. so. Yeah, and getting out is good too yes. when you do that. Yes, And I, I, I love to exercise, but I struggle to find the commitment to work out. Yes, so I think that if you can find something that you love, then you'll be able to do it. Um, and I, I, I feel like the best exercise schedule is a, like three to four days of a cardio, even if it's walking, mm -hmm. um, uh, a couple days of strength training, and then maybe some yoga in, or Pilates. It in starts there. slow. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And nutrition, let's talk yes. about that. Pillar. Nutrition is such a huge thing. We yeah. could do like a whole thing on this. So I, I, it's very overwhelming for people for nutrition. So I like to tell people, like, let's just teach you how to read a food label and then f figure out what's in the food before you figure out how much of that food you want to eat. There's a lot of inflammatory, oil, inflammatory oils, there's added sugars that really cause inflammation in the body. And so if we want, to, if we can figure out what's in them first and then we can decide, okay, how do I want to implement certain things okay. into So you say avoid trans fats. Trans fats, yes, that's a lot of your fast food restaurant yeah. stuff. So just, you know, and try added to limit sugars. that. And added sugars, there's so yeah. many different names for sugars. Like, T dozens and dozens. That, you need a science they, degree. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah. So also, and so if you want to start summer, maybe start with just watching those added sugars, and then maybe upping your protein, and just start okay. there, and okay. and not stress out so much about the, the simple the things calories. add up. They really do. They really, they really do. do. Your health, it, your health is a journey. There's no finish line. But it's the most important it thing. It is, and just try to find a balance for between everything between you know, with work, rest, and recreation. Just kind of find a, a way that it's all going to fit in. Just find little tiny. Things that you can implement in your life. Okay, now we hear you are hilarious on your Instagram account. So, <laughs> I don't know about that how one. can people find you and to um, see more yeah, fun advice? He healthy Habits with Heather is my Instagram. Okay. Um, yeah, that's where you can find me. And um, yeah, we have a good time on there. Thanks okay. for coming okay. in. Thank yeah. you so Thanks much. Dancing counts as moving. Yeah, uh, um, <laughs> that's what I do. Okay. So. <laughs>